Ang sa lupa ay may Amazon rainforest na itinuturing bilang the most biodiverse region ng Earth. Ang Coral Triangle naman ang katumbas nito sa ilalim ng dagat na tinaguri ang the Ocean's Amazon Rainforest. Ito ay kinabibilangan ng mga bansang Pilipinas, Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands at Timor Leste. Alam niyo ba na ang Coral Triangle ay 1.5% lamang ng kabuuan ng dagat? Pero dito matatagpuan ang 76% of world's coral reef species at 37% of world's reef fish species. Kaya naman tinawag itong center of the world's marine biodiversity. The Philippine Archipelago is indeed a place of paradise dahil dito mismo matatagpuan ang pinakapuso ng center of the world's marine biodiversity, ang Verde Island Passage. Ito ay isang narrow body of water na naghihiwalay sa mga probinsya ng Batangas, Oriental Mindoro, Occidental Mindoro, Marinduque at Romblon, na may lawak na 1.14 million hectares. Here are the things you need to know to have a Verde Island Passage Dive to remember. Verde Island Passage Diving is a must-do day trip. This dive site can be deep as more or less 100 meters or 330 feet, ideal for technical diving. Bukod sa scientific diving, sikat din ang lugar para sa mga fun dives at maliban sa excellent marine environment. Dahil sa good water visibility, we can also get to experience a gripping drift dive here. Kaya ang mga experienced divers na qualified for 30 meters or advanced open water divers ang advisable na mag-dive dito with an experienced dive guide just like DM Rex, our guide to today's diving. The current there is unpredictable. Sometimes you, we have an up and down current. So what we need to do is, is stay close to your body, all right, and stay close to the wall. But just in case this current uh, rises, then it's very easy for you to hold into something. All right, you don't want to be caught by an up current or a current pushing you very deep. Guys, ito na magda-dive na kami sa Verde Island. So ito talaga yung pinakaaantay ko sa aming mga diving escapade. Ang una naming dive site ay ang Verde Drop-Off. So it only takes 45 minutes ride from Scandi Divers. At alam nyo ba na almost every year may mga bagong nadi-discover na marine creatures dito sa Verde Island Passage. Kaya naman mas magiging enjoyable pa ang dive trip natin ngayon. naman sa mahal namin si Ate Marv, ang aming writer. Masama din natin si Kuya Rex, ang ating dive master for this dive. Just love it in the house! <laughs> Yo! Kasama din natin si Don at si Miko, ang aming mga dive master. And of course, we have here Luke. Say hi! Hi guys! And we have here Kuya Jason, ang ating safety diver. Hi! And now, we have finally reached the Verde drop-off. Time to see the beauty in the middle of the center of the world's marine biodiversity. Guys, ready? ready. I count to three. Ready. When I say go, we're all gonna fall back, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go! Usually, Verde Island drop-off has a mild to strong current condition. So how do we enter the water with a strong current? Dive sites with mild to strong current like Verde Island are recommended to be entered through a negative entry or negative buoyancy descent. It's a way of entering the water as divers normally would, allowing yourself to continuously descend without much effort. You don't have to add more weights to do a negative entry 
All you have to do is to make sure that all the air is out of your BCD for you not to shoot up back to the surface. Don't forget to equalize. Once you have reached your desired depth, that's the time for you to control your buoyancy and have a neutral one. As we expected on the beginning that there might be a current, but when we get there, it was suddenly, you know, it's different from what we expected. There was no current, very good condition, uh, good visibility. Kita mo agad ang napakaraming uri ng marine life dito sa Verde Drop-Off. Sa dive site na ito, makikita ang tila underwater mountain na nababalot ng iba't ibang makukulay na marine creatures. And as we're going down, we saw these antias that makes the reef very, very colorful because of their red color. 2005, nang madiskubre ng isang marine biologist na si Kent Carpenter na ang Verde Island Passage ay may highest concentration ng marine life sa buong mundo. Kaya itinuturing ito bilang center of the center of marine biodiversity. According to studies, 1,736 marine species ang makikita sa 10 square kilometers area nito. At simula 2015, mahigit 100 rare at bagong species ang nadiskubre sa Verde Island Passage matapos ang ginawang expedition ng California Academy of Science tulad ng sea slug, sea urchins, starfish, delicate comb jelly at makukulay na flatworms. Dito rin matatagpuan ang highest concentration ng shore fishes o mga isdang nabubuhay sa hindi gaanong malalim na parte ng dagat. Kaya hindi katakataka kung bakit isa ito sa mga world-class scuba diving destinations. Going a little bit deeper, we saw this group of big mouth mackerel together with red tooth triggerfish. encounter this group of long-nosed emperor fish and when we get around the corner we saw these sweet leaves different kinds of snappers we're really having a great diving experience here in Verde drop-off but not all the time maganda ang current condition dito so make sure to know safety diving practices whenever you experience a drift dive Pagka may drift dive na sinabi, malakas ang current nun. Kung marunong ka na talaga sa diving, hindi ito magiging malakid, kundi pwede mo itong sabayan eh. Mas less effort ka mag-swim, you'll just stay close on the wall, enjoy the scenery of the wall. Yung first time na nag-dive ako dito sa Verde Island, I think that was last year. Nag-expect ako na malakas yung Agos kasi last year, Napakalas talaga ng agos eh. Yung visibility talagang malinaw. Very calm yung tubig. Nakalamdam lang ako ng konting up current, medyo pataas yung current. Sa isang part lang naman. Kaya nag-enjoy talaga ako ngayon. Dito sa Verde Island Passage, karaniwan ang up and down currents. Pero alam nyo ba na malaki ang papel ng current sa kalusugan ng karagatan? Malaki ang impluensya nito sa food web at reproduction ng buong marine ecosystem. Maraming mga marine animals ang umaasa sa agos ng dagat o tinatawag na liquid wind para makakuha ng sapat na pagkain o nutrients. Nakatutulong din ang current sa reproduction ng marine life dahil napapakalat nito ang mga larvae o reproductive cells ng ibang marine species. Grabe! Wala ko masabi! Sobrang na speechless ako sa sobrang dami ng isda mula sa pinakamaliliit hanggang pinakamalalaki. Tapos sa sobrang dami nila, parang hindi ko alam kung saan ako titingin kaliwa, kanan, punong-puno. Literal na punong-puno. Tapos sobrang ganda ng visibility, ang linaw. Tapos minsan yung isda pa yung lalapit sa'yo na parang ako, napapatulala na lang ako. 
captivated by the beauty of Verde Island Passage? Well, kapit lang mga kasangbahay dahil hindi pa riyan nagtatapos ang ating diving adventure for today. Be mesmerized with our unforgettable encounter with the majestic dolphins. Dolphins